talked about uh, another thing you can add uh, in the add component is rigid body. Uh, what does that do? So um, for example, um, thinking about rigid body is kind of like gravity. Uh, it's like uh, having an object interacting uh, with the gravity. Okay, so an object without rigid body, it's kind of like the uh, sphere that we added in the scene. So just floating in the, uh, in the sky. Okay, so uh, after we add the rigid body, uh, the ball can actually interact uh, with the terrain and with the gravity. So uh, actually before we start, let me turn off the audio. Okay. So uh, select the object you want to add gravity on. Uh, you click on Add Component, Physics, Rigid Body. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to do. And you can change like the mass or like the friction. Um, so uh, the ball will have kind of slightly different interactivity uh, with the uh, terrain and the viewer. So now you can see the ball just fall. So now it's rolling on our terrain. And we can also push it. So when it pushes, it, uh, instead of just uh, blocking us, we can actually, uh, yeah, now because uh, the slope is going to fall into the, uh, yeah, it's hitting the invisible wall that we created earlier. Okay, so that is a very quick uh, example how to add rigid body. So you can create um, kind of, for example, um, I'll do a cube. Make it a little bit bigger, and I'll add a component, physics, uh, rigid body. Okay, so now when we hit play, same the cube will fall, and then we will be able to push it. And you can see uh, with different rigid body and the uh, different kind of phys physics with the sphere, it interacting very differently uh, with the player. Cool. So yeah, like uh, now we can push it very easily. Uh, but if you uh, increase the uh, mass for the cube, make it like ten, uh, and it will be much harder to push, or it will be much harder to tilt. Okay, you can see now it's not as e easy to push over like uh, like before. Cool, so just a quick demo of how to add rigid body in your scene. 